Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we're taking on the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Ole Miss Rebels. Two rivalry games to finish off the regular season here in season number eight. Make sure we are all shared in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, go ahead and join us. There's a link in the description below. Don't forget to slap that like button and subscribe if you're new. What up, Tyler? Tyler Rocky in the chat. How you doing, buddy? You excited for the Lions and Buccaneers playoff game? All right, here we go. <coughs> Mississippi State at Arkansas. Now, we did lose to Arkansas. Was it last season? No, it was the season before that we lost to them, I believe. And uh, let's see, they're bowl eligible, 6-4, and four, ranked 55th nationally at the moment. And on a three-game winning streak currently, so they're doing quite well as of late. We are on a ten-game winning streak, of course. And, you know, uh, looking to get in the national championship game. Let's make sure our stuff is out. Normal, yada, yada, yada. All right, let's get it, boys. Lions win, they're one step closer to the Super Bowl. Yes, sir. They got to get through Baker Mayfield first. He's been on fire. 330 yards, three touchdowns against Philly. Love me some Baker Mayfield, man. You think the Super Bowl is going to be the Bills and the Lions? I think that's, that's a good pick. I mean, man, the way all these teams are playing right now, anybody can make it. All the teams are hot right now. Texans are going crazy. The Ravens are great. Man, it, it's going to be really interesting. I, I think no matter what, no matter who gets in, I think the Super Bowl is going to be a good one this season. Won't be a lot of fun. We're at Razorback Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and the fans are going hog wild as the players prepare for battle. And I hope these fans are as bundled up as I am for today's matchup between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Here come the Razorbacks. It's time for some fierce SEC action. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. We're really excited you could join us today for another great college football rivalry. The Bulldogs confident bunch of kids and rightfully so Kirk this team is just too powerful uh, there's no question about it this one's going to be pretty ugly Mississippi State has so many weapons offensively but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback now against this defense I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around this could be a career day forget about it Arkansas is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack and I'm going to tell you why that defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk. Look at that mustache. They're going to lose this one big. Thanks, guys. Looks like we're going to have an action-packed game. All right, let's get it, boys. Cannot afford to lose, especially this late in the season. It'll knock us out of the national championship conversation. So let's not do that. Let's dominate. Let's go. So I'm going to start at their own 20 yard line. Lions winning the Super Bowl is your dream. That would be awesome. It'd be really nice to see a new team win it that's never won before. And a good tackle on the outside. Arkansas picks up two. I don't really have a dog in the fight in the in the playoffs, so it doesn't matter to me who wins. I would like to see some Miami Hurricanes get some Super Bowl rings, though. There's still a bunch left in the playoffs right now. Oh, 
Oh, the Lions got Michael Badgley. Your kicker. He's from the Canes, baby. Let's go. Corbin May with a nice tackle on the outside. Yeah, let's see. Who was still left in the playoffs from Miami? Michael Badgley. Denzel Perryman. He's on Houston. Linebacker. Deion Bush. Safety for Kansas City. DJ Scaife is on Houston. On the O-line. Greg Rousseau is still there. He's on Buffalo. Mitchell Agude, linebacker for Detroit. He's got to be a backup. Jonathan Ford, D lineman for Green Bay. Brevin Jordan for Houston at tight end. D Delaney, corner for Tampa Bay. And John Feliciano on the O line for San Francisco. So. Plenty of chances for Miami Hurricanes to to get some Super Bowl rings this year. Yo, what up, Brandon? Arkansas's going to win this for sure. <laughs> hey, they did beat us. Was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. I'm still upset about it, to be honest with you. They killed our shot at a national championship game. I think we lost to Ole Miss in Season 7, which is equally upsetting. Oh, baby. Get wrecked. Good stop by the defense. Hurricanes will never be good again. I don't think that's true. I think now that Nick Saban's gone from Alabama, uh, you know, all those South Florida recruits that he kept stealing will be more likely to stay home and play for Miami, which would be nice, you know. Don't be hating, man. They don't have the recruiting advantage. I I'm pretty sure uh, they can recruit just fine. They'll block off South Florida again. They'll do it. Oh, baby. Sanford with the wiggle sticks. Yeah, NIL definitely changes the game, but I, I think in the long run that's going to help out Miami. Number eight offense in the country for the Bulldogs. 440 yards per game. Malone on the corner. And incomplete. Just out of reach for him. They're down seven coming up. Yeah, Mizzou's definitely going to get some good recruits. We've already got some from what I've seen. Oh, how do we miss that? He's wide open over the middle. Come on, man. Caldwell, break free from the blocker. Oh my god. Well, I made the tackle at least. Alright, back to defense. That was a lackluster first drive for us. And that is overthrown. A lot of quarterback woes lately. Oh, false start on the right guard. Getting a little too excited out there. <coughs> yeah, Miami, Nebraska <laughs> being good again. That would be awesome. I mean, Nebraska's been bad for a little bit longer than Miami. Somehow. They both had, you know, a couple good seasons here and there, but obviously not enough to be relevant. 
I mean, Miami's at least been mediocre. Nebraska has been less than mediocre the last 20 years or so. Ever since that national championship game where Miami spanked them. Uh oh. Brew it with a deflection. Let's go, baby. Alright. Back to offense. The offenses are just really exhilarating right now. Catch it. Oh my goodness. Thought he was going to muff that punt. Nebraska needs to go back to running the ball. Absolutely. That's what Miami has done this year. Their run game was so good. They couldn't throw the ball, though. That was a problem. Last like 10 years. Haven't been able to run the ball. Haven't been able to throw it. Can't block. We got a good old line now, and we got good running backs. We just got, uh, what's his name, Cam Ward from Washington State. So we got a decent quarterback now. Need everybody to stay healthy. Young receiving core, though. That's, that's the question mark for us. Same for 1,068 yards, 11 touchdowns for the true freshman. He has been really solid for us. Who's the best coach in Miami history? I mean, I gotta give it to Schnellenberger. He was the originator. And Hawkins drops it. That would have been a touchdown. Yeah, without Schnellenberger, Miami doesn't win any national championships. But if I had to pick one that wasn't him, I would go with Jimmy Johnson. I love Jimmy Johnson. He's such a good guy. You think it's Jimmy? Yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong with any of the picks, honestly. Man, we are off the mark. The passing attack right now. Eh, I'm going to punt it. Play the field position battle. Oh, that was a good punt. Come on, get there. Get there, Tiki. Let's go. Inside the five-yard line. Just the way we drew it up. All right, let's blitz. Erickson won a natty and think he's a bad coach. Well, he didn't recruit that team. He won with a, a different coach's team. That's what it was. Oh, good tackle. I mean, he wasn't a great coach, but he, he was good. He did what he had to to get the job done. I mean, you could say the same thing about... Um, oh, what the heck's his name? Oh, I just bounced right off of that guy. My goodness. What's the coach? He coached, um, oh, Barry Switzer. Wasn't he the coach of Oklahoma? And then he took over the Dallas Cowboys after Jerry Jones ousted Jimmy Johnson and won a Super Bowl with the team that Jimmy built. You know, it's the same, same concept, really. Like, Barry wasn't a good coach. No, the guy after Butch Davis, that was that was Larry Coker. Larry Coker did the same thing, too. All he had to do, you know, Butch Davis gave him the keys to the Cadillac, and he just had to... had to not... <laughs> had to not crash it. Yeah, Barry did win a lot at Oklahoma, for sure. But... His NFL success is what I'm talking about. He he didn't build that team in Dallas. Heck, about 70% of it was just all drafted by Jimmy Johnson or acquired via trade or free agency. Come 
on, Hawkins. We got some blocking. Hey, good return up past the 45. Why did Jerry Jones hire a wishbone coach? Okay, so basically, he got rid of Jimmy because Jimmy wanted to run things his way. So Jerry didn't care who he was going to get. He just wanted Jimmy gone. I don't think he actually paid attention to <laughs> the type of coach that Switzer was. He just looked at his record and said, oh, yeah, he's good. Man, we can't complete a pass down the field right now. This is unfortunate. All right, let's go full back. My goodness gracious, what are we doing on offense right now? We have zero passing yards. This is atrocious. Wow, Arkansas is the ninth rated defense. That's actually really impressive. I, I did not know that about them. <laughs> Dang. All right. <coughs> Switzer recruited Aikman to Oklahoma. Oh, boy. Didn't Aikman go to UCLA? John, what's going on, brother? Malone, let's go. First and goal. We're finally getting some passing game going here. Good grief. Sanford, oh, is holding. Oh, say it ain't so. Chapman. Oh, so Switzer lied to him? Oh, man. <laughs> That's too funny. I bet that set, you know, sit well with him in the in the locker room when they're in Dallas together. We really just fumbled that. You got to be kidding me right now. Broke his leg and transferred to UCLA. That is tough. <coughs> I cannot believe we just fumbled it inside the 20. Schnellenberger, you agree with that? Yeah, it, you gotta pick Schnellenberger, man. He's the originator. Oh, what a hit that was. Oof. They were gonna switch to feature Marcus Dupree. Yeah. Well, how'd that turn out? <laughs> I can't believe it's zero to zero right now. This is so frustrating. Draw play. Oh boy. There are 115 yards of offense right now, all together. My goodness gracious. What's happening? That was nearly a great catch. Play action. 
Oh, I knocked it out with Pruitt. Let's go. It's definitely a field position battle, that's for sure. I mean, we should have scored on our last drive. That was like, come on, freshman. You got to hold on to the football, man. Definitely going to test our grit here today. Please block somebody. No? Oh, boy. I didn't fair catch. We're lucky we didn't fumble that. All right, Sanford is still not back in the game at halfback, so Robbie Ballard going to get a carry here. Nice cut up field. Gets four yards for the big guy. And now Sanford is back in. Man, they're just stacking the box. Oh, nice play. Man, I thought the wide receiver got a nice block. But I guess not. Let's go fullback. get three or four. Not bad. Take a shot downfield. Yeah, let me see if I can keep this drive going here. If we get a first down here, I'll take a shot to the end zone. And Harding, man, he's looking slow today. Let's go ISO. There you go, Sanford. First down. All right, let's go. All right. What do I want to do? Let's go wide receiver post. First read is going to be Hawkins, and then I'll read the post. Oh, no shot. What a play by the linebacker. Oh, my goodness. That's just the seventh pick on the season for Watson. He's having a great year. Wow. What a play. Two for eight today. Man, defense has really showed up for this one. Let's go, Salazar. It's all right. You know, I, I trust our defense to keep us in the game here. Hold it. And we get the sack. Let's go. Obviously, we're going to decline that. Blitz Woodard. Hopefully this isn't a terrible call. Guess we'll find out soon enough. I'm blitzing with him. Heck with it. Pruitt, you're on an island by yourself, brother. There we go. Fumble! Alright. I like that. Came to play today. Alright, let's try to block a punt. Came pretty dang close uh, in our last stream. Who who's it against? I can't even remember. Alabama. We were so close. Oh, I got crushed. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have great field position though. Let's go, Hawkins. Oh, nice tackle. Try to spin past him. Grab three points. Well, let's just try to see if we can move the dang ball down the field a little bit. Last stream, I was four for four on field goals. You know, I don't, 
I don't want to jinx myself, but did pretty dang good. Okay, Ballard. My goodness. Ran that man smooth over. Another good run. Ballard back in at halfback. And Ballard running over another defender. My goodness. I've been trying to get the fullback a little bit more involved lately. Hawkins, let's go. I'm gonna call a timeout. We got 37 seconds left. Make sure our O line is rested for these next few plays. All right. Let's go ISO. I juked way too early on that play. Dang it. Alright, let's try the rollout play. And we're just going to take the sack. I did not want to force that pass. sitting there. All right. We're just going to try a field goal. It's a little bit farther than I wanted to try to kick this, but come on, thumb. Don't fail me. I think we got it. Oh, they nearly blocked that. Woo. Rick Hayes, field goal is up and good. It's 3 nothing. At halftime. <laughs> oh, man. Defensive slobber knocker of a game right now. Barely any offense to be seen. Desmond Dale, three yards deep. Set to return to kick off. And up to the 21. Yeah, I've broken that field goal record so many times, but... The game is so old that it just doesn't really save the it doesn't save the stats. I've made like a 44 yarder with this guy. Pretty sure I made longer with Randall, our previous kicker. Oh, come on. Got stuck on my own lineman. four-yard carry. I'll take that. Alright, what are we doing here? Third and seven. Wow. Okay. I was trying to hit Malone over the middle, but... As you can see, his route was disrupted there, and that killed the, the whole timing of that play. O-line is just bad. Well, to be fair to the O-line. Uh oh Oh, Tiki, you're too slow, brother. To be fair to the O-line, I think four of them are freshmen. 
Arkansas in striking distance now after a missed tackle on the punt return. Come on, Pruitt. Keep bouncing off of guys. has the pick. Slight overthrow in the 99 speed sophomore corner nearly hauls it in. My well, boys, they're down at eight. Like to get some pressure on the quarterback here. Uh oh. No way he caught that. Oh my goodness. I'm blaming that on the special teams for allowing a big return. Dang. Arkansas taking the lead. Best play of the day for them right there. Extra point up and good. 7-3. to three. Razorbacks on top here in the third. Yeah, they definitely just called a Hail Mary on us. Look at that kick. Oh, my word. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, my goodness. All right, what are we doing on offense? I got to figure something out here. I didn't realize Arkansas's defense was number nine in the country because they're kind of killing us. Chuck it up. Roy's out there somewhere. And he one-handed that. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> Holy smokes. We got to see a replay of that. I don't know if I've seen that animation before. Look at that. Just one hand. Like, what are you guys doing? You guys are lost. Oh, that was beautiful. Watson, 4 of 10, 105 yards on a pick. It's all right, we'll fix it. Roy wide open, and up to the 10-yard line. Okay, this is the drive of Roy, I guess. Three catches, 76 yards today. was wide open. Can my O-line please block? These poor young freshmen are just getting crushed. Roy! Touchdown Bulldogs! Let's go. Three catches on that drive for Thomas Roy, the senior wide receiver. And the dogs take the lead. Just need a little bit of Roy in your life. Yo, what up, Marvin? Yeah, we definitely had to have that drive. It was looking a little, a little rough, a little dire. Nice to actually be able to move the football down the field. Oh, God. Can't break off the blocks to save my life. All right, defense. Back to it. They don't have to go 32 yards for a score, so we're in a pretty good spot here. Where are you going, sir? Diaz. Diaz, is it?
Second down and 11. And we get the sack on the quarterback. Let's go. Singleton is first of the day. Second tackle for a loss. That was a loss of seven. And there's an overthrow. Woodard nearly picks it off. Receiver calling for a flag. He's not going to get it. Come on, boys. Nobody's going to block for me. That's all right. Good field position again. We're at the 45-yard line. I like it. Sanford moving the chains. Let's go, freshman. Pull back. And hard angle pick up six. Ballard in at halfback. Oh, what a juke from Ballard, the big fella. And stays in bounds, dropped at the five-yard line. He's running the ball quite well. I like it. Throwing it to the corner to Malone. Oh my goodness, he caught it when he's out of bounds. What a play, though. Goodness gracious. Look at Vanderbilt, going to go 0-12. And, and I also want to point out that Alabama is probably going to go 0-12 as well. What happened to the defenses? They died. And Harding walks in for the score. There we go. A little bit of breathing room. Arkansas minus one yard rushing today. Not sure what they're trying to accomplish on offense. Yo, what's going on, Jared? What's up, brother? Hope you're doing well, man. We're just vibing out, hanging out, chilling. Playing a couple rivalry games here today. I don't know if I can help you with that, Marvin. I don't, <laughs> I don't see that ever happening, my guy. This has definitely been uh, quite the bizarre universe <laughs> for this series. We got work here. Nice. Catching a little YouTube action. Nothing wrong with that. What was that throw? What are they doing on offense right now? I don't understand. <laughs> Watching me rage at the offense. Hey, they, they picked it up the last couple drives, though. Counter. Uh-oh. There's a good run. <laughs> Collect the Infinity Stones? Absolutely. Make it happen, Marvin. I believe in you. Okay. Not 
sure why these teams don't run the ball more. <laughs> Collect the Dragon Balls for good measure. Yes, please. Draw play. Uh, that didn't go anywhere. Goodness. It keeps bouncing me off of guys. What the heck, man? What in tarnation? Man, if we play like this against Ole Miss, I'm going to be really upset. I just got stiff armed just out of my shoes. <laughs> Jeez. Pruitt, you were just not it at free safety, my guy. He might be the worst free safety we've had in the series so far. To be fair, we've had some really good ones, but... He has had some pretty good games, but not, not consistently. And that'll end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. We're on top 17-7. to seven. Here against the Arkansas Razorbacks. We're looking to go 11-0. Arkansas looking for their seventh win on the season. I just want to get to the natty. That was the goal of bringing this series back. Let's go. Calhoun, the sophomore, recovers the fumble. We'll just run the ball and uh, try to get out of here with a dub. And Sanford picks up about three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ole Miss, I think they're four and something right now. I think they only have four wins. So far cry from what they were last season. Whoop. Oh, I tried to juke. Couldn't juke. It's all right. Pretty good run for the freshman. All right, now. Now. <clears throat> I'm taking a shot to post Malone over here on the left. Let's see what else we got going here. Not open. Hawkins is wide open, though. And there's a first down inside the 15. Good job of breaking off his route. Malone, touchdown, Mississippi State. Let's go, baby. Hail State. Too easy. He was corner Malone on that play. Watson, two touchdown passes today. And I think that might just be enough to put this one away. Now that I say that, Arkansas is going to wake up and go on a tear. First downs for the dogs, only six for the pigs. And it's 
picked off by Pruitt. The user interception. And Pruitt inside the 20-yard line. Let's go. I've only got one tackle with him, though. I've missed so much today. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like I've been on, in on most plays, and I only have one tackle to show for it. That's outrageous. Oh, he's not even their regular starting quarterback, either. Oh, baby. And the route is on now. Let's go. Nice juke. I went for the fancy dive, but I guess Sanford just didn't want to do it. drive. 31 to 7 now. Yeah, I gave a pretty good pep talk at halftime, that's for sure. You guys want to score points or do you want to run the steps all day? And I'm not talking about practice. I'm talking about directly after the game. Full uniform. <laughs> Run home from Arkansas. <laughs> Oh, man. Hello? Can we tackle him, please? Thank you. Yeah, that'd be one heck of a run. <laughs> Iron Fist Clim Climb. Find Lombardi. <laughs> yeah. You will run all night. Bumbo! Now the defense is getting after him. I'm just going to keep blitzing. Why not? I have noticed we forced a lot more fumbles the last couple seasons. Oh, how did he catch that? My goodness. Josh Peck out here catching passes at tight end. Dun, 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 dun. Get out of the way, ref. Come on, man. They keep running directly into my blitzes. Run the Packers sweep the rest of the game. <laughs> I don't think I got that formation. Man, I, I just cannot tackle with Pruitt. Like, I've had a couple games where I had, like, 12 tackles. But most games, I'm getting, like, two or three. Oh, man. Come on, boys. What are we doing? Calhoun, brother. Really? Woodard? You too? This is unacceptable. We could not let them score right here. Calhoun almost has the pick. Come on, man. Got to come away with that. 
Yeah, Diaz is kind of a beast. It's going crazy out here. Nice catch. Too bad you're out of bounds, Taylor. Malone did that for us earlier. All right. Blitzen, Mr. Singleton. Pressured, and we get the sack. Let's go. Second sack of the day for him. Man. Am I getting the new game in July? I, I don't know. I, I need to see more. That's nearly picked off by Woodard. And that was fourth down, so we do hold him. Yeah, I definitely need to see more from that game. We haven't really seen anything. If the gameplay is like the PS2 college games, I'm in. Sign me up. But if it's out here looking like Madden, I'm not getting it. Fullback just uh, kept running to the outside. That's cool. Yeah, we definitely need to see something, Marvin. They haven't given us diddly poo nothing. Like, just give me some screenshots. They should have gave us a couple screenshots or something at the national championship game. Anything would have been better than what they have given us. How did Malone come down with that? My goodness. That was kind of crazy, not even going to lie. 1,175 yards, 10 touchdowns on the season for the sophomore. What a monster he is. Okay, Ballard, I see you with that quick cut. Okay. Dang. That was kind of crazy. He moves pretty quick for a big fella. Blocked up the middle. That's cool. That's fine. That's right, Marvin. PS2, baby. That's all we need. Oh, what a tackle. How does he catch him? That's absurd. Throw. Man, he was wide open. Atkins, player of the game. Did that say three force fumbles? No shot, right? Ryan, what? Hello? Three force fumbles? That's outrageous. Oh my word. What the heck? I had no idea. That's a record. That is 100% a record for four fumbles in a game on this uh, in this series. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> that was just a punt, basically. I'm okay with it. Give their band something else to play to. They've been pretty quiet this game. No way. Come on, Woodard. They just about doubled their passing yards on one play. Picked off again by Pruitt. His second of the day. The user interception, baby. Let's go.
here from Fayetteville, Arkansas. We get the dub, 31 to 7. It was 7 to 3. And we put up four straight touchdowns to close this one out. We dominated them in the second half. They couldn't do anything. And it was really glorious. I loved it. All right, let's take a look at the stats. For a while, there wasn't even 150 yards of offense combined. I think that was the whole first half, really. Both teams got sacked three times. Both teams had three turnovers. But we forced three fumbles, and that's pretty dang impressive. Yep, 28 to 7 in the second half. It was looking rough on offense for both teams for a while. Hey, Watson, nothing to write home about in this one for him. Sanford, 113 yards, touchdown. Harding had a touchdown as well. Sanford also fumbled inside the 20-yard line, which is unacceptable. Only three players caught passes. Thomas Roy, Ryan Malone, and Ron Hawkins. Malone and Roy with touchdowns. Salazar and Singleton each had seven tackles. May with five. Atkins, Contreras, and Woodard with four. Nobody else had more than three. Eleven tackles for a loss for the defense. Three sacks. Man, Atkins just went crazy. Two picks for Pruitt. Seven deflections for the defense. Three forced fumbles for Atkins. One recovered by Tony Calhoun. Rick Hayes, one for one on field goals. White did good punting. Uh, net average not so good since we allowed a big return. All right, let's go see if we can uh, play a little bit better, maybe a little more consistent against our bitter arch nemesis, the Ole Miss Rebels. Should be a fun game. I think what we're going to do uh, tomorrow is just play the SEC championship game. And I'm not normally going to stream on Thursdays, but if we make the national championship game, so, so tomorrow will be SEC and then... The next day, national championship if we win out. But if we lose this next game or the SEC championship game, uh, I'm just going to do the bowl game right after conference title game. Tomorrow, of course. Look at Northwestern, 1-10. and 10. Man, Iowa and Wisconsin, both 4-8. and eight. Ugh. North Carolina, 11-1. Another one of our... Dynasty schools in NCAA 04. What a glorious series that was. Heck, we might go back to that eventually, too. Plan right now is to get the Bulldog series through 10 seasons. And then after that, we're going to go and play some, some Making Knights Arena football for at least one more season. I think what I'll do with that series is That'll be like a placeholder. So after I do five seasons of a main series, we'll go back and we'll play the Knights after those five seasons while we prepare for another dynasty or franchise or, or whatever the case may be. But here is the matchup. Four and seven, Ole Miss, 11 and 0, Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl in Starkville, Mississippi. Uh, they are pretty bad. I don't know what happened. Last season, I think they won 10 games. And then, I mean, this season, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I could not tell you. Let's see what happened to them. Because they are struggling mightily this year. Your hometown team? Yes, sir. They're coming back, Marvin. All right, so Ole Miss 
They won. They were 1-0. Oh. They beat Vanderbilt. Then they got rocked by Michigan and Nebraska. Dang. Beat Wyoming. Lost to Louisville by two scores. Lost to Florida by a field goal. That is a tough game. That was in the swamp, too. They almost had them. Beat Alabama. No surprise there. Uh, lost to Arkansas by six. Lost to South Carolina by 17. Beat Auburn. Auburn also beat Tennessee when they were ranked, uh, I think they were ranked second or third. And LSU put up 52 on them. Okay, so how many close games? One, two. Okay, so realistically, they could be six and five at best right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's just not the case, though. They, they're having a rough go of it. See what they're doing as far as season stats. Chad Warren, their quarterback. I mean, not bad, honestly. Not a bad season for him. Jared Tyson's run the ball well. It's got to be the defense. Their defense has probably just given up so many yards and scores. Justin Hudson, 856 yards, four touchdowns. Pretty good year from him. Got a lot of drops. No, but Rivers does with seven. Oof. I mean, they got some ballers. Wait, that guy had six sacks. He's out nine weeks. My goodness. All right, so we don't got to worry about him, the sack leader. And they barely have any takeaways. Never mind, they got a lot of fumble recoveries. I wish we could do that. All right. Let's get it, boys. Mississippi State. Ole Miss, the Egg Bowl, right now. Did I just see a ranked team get blanked 44 to nothing? Did I see that right? Where was it? UNLV is going to go to the national championship game, guys. I'm sick to my stomach. If we win out and we play them, I'm, I'm going to be furious. Oh, 40 to 9 was the score I think I saw. No, no, I was right. Texas A&M got blanked 44 to nothing against Texas. Get them out of here. My goodness. All right, well, let's just simulate the rest of these games here. USC beats Notre Dame. What a game that is. My goodness, 36-34. Uh, Miami, Virginia Tech. And Virginia Tech wins it 16 to 13 in overtime. What a game! Cincinnati UAB and UAB hangs 51 on them. All right, Maryland, Wake Forest, 39 to two. That's the most Wake Forest score I've ever seen. Man, Boston College and Rutgers, 31-24. So a good game there. All right. Let's get it. Obviously, we'll play the game and see who will be playing in the SEC title game. We already won our division, I believe. <coughs> and it wasn't even close. Even if we lose this game, we still win our division. Last season, I'm pretty sure Ole Miss beat us and then went and lost in the SEC title game, I think. Or maybe, no, it was Tennessee. Let's go! Mississippi State has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. 
I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. Forget about it. Ole Miss does not match up well defensively against this passing attack. And that's the reason why I think they're going to be out of this one early. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if it's over by halftime. We're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss. You know, I'm, I'm really sick and tired of having close games with these guys. Like, where is our breakout game where we can just crush them? I want the ball right now. Let's go. They always give us fits, and I, I just want to beat the brakes off of them. I'm going to turn the commentators off after this play. Since I'm an idiot and forgot. Robbins takes it at the four. Little shake and bake move. Man, good return by Robbins. Not bad. Not a bad way to start the game. Alright. And we win 88% uh, of the time. I like it. Okay. Instantly blitz their middle linebacker on the first play of the game. I don't like that. Right. 99th ranked off or defense. Oh, oh my goodness. How? How can you guys be that bad? Like what happened? They were really good last year. Rated offense for the Bulldogs, 433 yards per game. Get that block. What's up? Whoop. Oh man. They keep messing up my whoop by tackling me. It's alright, we'll take the big game. Malone. Oh, we missed him. Dang it. He zigged when he should have zagged on that one. Let's go fullback blast. Get the big fella involved. Man, I'll take three yards. We're in four down territory here, so I'm not too worried about it if we don't get it right here. Way too early. All right, fourth down and three coming up from the 32. Roy comes down with it inside the 25-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Let's go. You love to see it. guard just got beat so badly. Loss of four on the sack. And we're, oh, how is that not pass interference? Hello? What the heck? Putting tarnation, man. All right, third and long now. Wide open. Oh, what a deflection. Where the heck did he come from? My goodness. Yeah, coach wants us to go for it because, well, we're not in field goal range, sadly. Be a 44-yarder. That's, that's a long field goal for our kicker. I might boost the... Uh, kick power for next season. 
Come on, man. That's three picks the last two games. Dang it. That's all right. Let's go defense. Just gonna have to keep relying on the defense. Pump, 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 pump it up. And Waller picks up two. And Salazar's on coverage. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, that was an overthrow. Come on, man. I was a linebacker so far back. Nelson injures his foot on the play. One of their top wide receivers. Go gut blitz. Oh, come on, guys. We were right there. Oh, what a hit. My goodness. All right, they're down an eight. All right, they're going to go five wide, so let's switch it to nickel. Nelson out for the game with a foot sprain. I don't really shy away from the 4-3 uh, too much. Well, with five receivers, we got to get some more speed out there. I mean, he's just wide open. That was a great route. Really good call by the coach. Boys, what are we doing? Ole Miss driving down the field. Try to get some pressure on the quarterback with a blitz. I mean, what am I supposed to do there? Man. Oh, that was atrocious. 87-yard touchdown drive for the Rebels. Man, Pruitt stinks. I don't care if I got two picks with him last game. It's terrible. Can't tackle to save his life. holding. Of course there is. Oh, clipping. Even better. Even better. Alright. Oh, what a play from Sanford. Oh, my goodness. Still going. Up past the 40 to the 42-yard line, and there's an injury for the Rebels. That was kind of ridiculous. Okay, Harding, don't cut up field like I told you to. That's fine. Warren out for the first half now. It's 
sprained elbow. And there goes Ballard picking up seven. And Ballard is going to move the chains. Squeezing through the O-line somehow. Oh my goodness. This O-line is just too young. Massey, the true freshman, first catch of the day. They're down to four coming up. Oh no, block him. Oh my goodness. And the first quarter, Rebels on top seven to nothing right now. Pullback dive. Let's go, boys. Got it. And it's holding. Dang it. How is there holding on, on fourth and inches? Man. that too hard. Yep. Dang it. Thought I aimed that a little bit higher, but I guess not. We need a takeaway. That would be lovely. Just can't cover anybody right now. Getting open left, right, center, willy nilly, all up in the middle. There you go, Pruitt. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit. Now, if you could do that consistently, that'd be great. number right now and I don't I don't like it uh oh that's not good I just keep bouncing off of everybody. Alright, let's go 3 4. Oh, 
no way he didn't catch that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. We're down two touchdowns right now to the Rebels. Calhoun should have had a pick right here. Oh, my goodness. That was a pick six. Instead, it's a touchdown for Ole Miss. Man, we're getting spanked right now. What the heck? Fourteen to zero at home in the second quarter. I think I just got tackled by the kicker. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's do something on offense, please. wide open. Oh, look at that. Nebraska beating Colorado right now, 14-7. to Try play action. If the O-line can hold on for just a second or two, this might be okay. Nope, we're dead. We're dead in the water. Oh, Malone. Oh, my goodness. Whew, I didn't even mean to hit that button, but we'll take it. Man, that could have been a disaster. I had to switch on and come back for it. Malone, he's got him beat at the one-yard line. Let's go. What a drive. It's all Malone. That's just in two seasons. 76 catches, 1,780 yards, 15 touchdowns. And just like that, we are in the end zone. We desperately needed that drive to happen. Fourteen to seven. Got the crowd back on our side. They're not booing us anymore. All right, let's try to figure out the defense now. Might have to switch. What do we want to switch to here? Try nickel for a little bit. I've tried zone, I've tried man. Doesn't matter what coverage I'm in. <coughs> that was a bad pass, okay. I'll take it. Alright, who is our number three corner? Robbins. Alright. He's blitzing here. There you go, Pruitt. Let's go, baby. Bring him down. Bring him right down. All right, we're going to blitz the linebackers now. Keep the fast guys out in coverage. I got the halfback. Now I have the tight end. No way. Oh, my goodness, Barry. Come on, man. Dang it. We had him, too. Third down. Go combo defense. Calhoun, come on, man. Make a play on the ball, brother. Yeah, 
nickel's not it either. Man, what are we gonna do right now? There we go. Yeah, the four three is our best formation because you know our linebackers, those are our best players on the defense. The three starting linebackers. We need them all on the field at the same time. Pruitt breaking down, making his tackle again. Let's go. They're down at five. We're going to blitz Singleton. No way. Oh, my goodness. We cannot stop these guys right now. This is outrageous. Threw it off his back foot. Somehow squeezes that through past the linebacker's hand for the touchdown. And Ole Miss gets the ball to start the second half as well. Twenty-one to seven. We need a touchdown before the half is over. Let's go, baby. Inside the 40. Let's go. No huddle. Malone. Got him. Inside the 10. Got 96 yards today. And it's Massey down to the two yard line. Eighty nine percent in the red zone this season. Ninth best in the country. And Sanford can be stopped at the two. Actually, they got credit for the one-yard line on that play. I'm going to let the clock run down. I don't want to give them too much time, if any. And it's a touchdown for Harding. Really good answer from the Bulldog offense. Twenty-one fourteen. Gonna have to rely heavily on the passes downfield from Watson to get us within scoring range, and let the running game do the rest of the work after that. Because running to set up the pass, uh, that was not working. for this defensive line to get in there and try to pressure him. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, we've only, let's see, we got two timeouts left. Maybe we can get the ball back quickly. Nope. 
on, man. Dang it. I think that timeout was a mistake. Man, look at Warren. 227 yards, three touchdowns. It's killing us. Oh my goodness, Corbin May, you should have had a pick, brother. Oh no. Cannot allow points here before the half. Rebels get it to start the third. Let's go. Tiki Caldwell to the 40. The 30, Tiki Caldwell, pick six. Oh my goodness, that is a game-changing play for Tiki. Let's go. Where, oh where, was he throwing that ball? Goodness gracious, what a colossal mistake for the Rebels. They had a shot to be, you know, going into the half up two scores. And instead, it's probably going to be a tie ball game. I think I missed that. Oh, boy. Okay, we got it. Had bad accuracy on it. All right, we're squibbing this bad boy. No returns, please. Oh, he's going to catch that. No. Get him. He just broke two tackles. All right, 21 all as we head into the locker room. What a first half that was here in the Egg Bowl. Yeah, good luck returning that one, bud. All right. Go defense. Said we needed a takeaway, and boy, did we get one. Ooh, okay, Woodard. I did not call a safety blitz, so I don't know why he's in the backfield, but I'll accept it. That's fine. Oh, nice tackle. Salazar on the stop. We finally got some pressure on the quarterback. Got there a little too late, but at least we got there. All right, they're down at seven. Let's go base defense. Let's go defense. Let's go. Bump it up. Oh, we got him. We got to stop on defense. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Let's get it. Ah, dang it. So close. And Hawkins up to the 44. Play action play. And we got a big touchdown on last stream. He's got him beat. Let's go, Malone. Got him inside the 15. What a season Malone is having. Find the lane in the middle. Couldn't quite get there. Malone to the one. Always finding a way to get open. 
And look at that score in the Nebraska game. My goodness. Can't remember what the score actually was for the final. And Sanford is in for six. The Bulldogs take the lead. And we got the momentum back. Not sure that ball has to cross the line, but we'll take it. Rebels were up 14 to 0 at one point. Dogs able to climb back to get the 28 21 lead here in the third. Pick six from Tiki Caldwell. What a play. Counter. Oh my goodness. What a hit. Huge collision. And that was Earl Singleton, the outside linebacker. Laying the hit on him. Pick up a four. And Singleton has injured his head on the play. That is not good. So what are we going to do? Copeland is in the game, and immediately we are blitzing him. That's just what we do, baby. Just what we do. Oh, I took the wrong route. Dang it. Oh, good run. Took a bad angle on that play. That's my fault. And Singleton out for the rest of the third quarter. Pinched nerve. Let's go Woodard. That's a loss of three. Second down, 13 to go. And that's an overthrow. Third down coming up. Two, third and long. Just can't hold him. Defense struggling today. Yeah, good luck with that play. Woodard, five tackles, two for a loss. Sophomore corner, uh, Calhoun on the tackle. Third down and eight, upcoming. No way. Oh my goodness. Complete breakdown by Calhoun and Woodard. Results in the touchdown. Man, quarterback just threw up a prayer, and it was answered. Man, 370 yards of offense for Ole Miss.
Extra point up and good. Tied ball game again, 28 all. Nine play, 80 yard touchdown drive. I just don't really have much of an answer for him. Other than the interception, we've only stopped them one time on defense. And Dale with a nice return up to the 34. to Massey. Nice deflection. Oh my goodness, that linebacker's fast. Dang. Well, that's not cool. They're down to nine coming up. And Watson's gonna escape for the first down. He's so slow, but it works. Unreal. That was a huge play. We got one on one on the left side. Hawkins, deep shot. Oh, what a deflection. Man, these corners are out of their minds. Oh, man. What a great play that was. Just saved them like a 30 yard play. Okay, nice spin move, Sanford. Picking up nine. I like it. Pull back that time. Money. Parting up to the 36 yard line, making it look easy. A little jab step. Made the safety look silly. And Ballard, he'll move the chains. Couple of really good runs right in a row. Back to the fullback again. Why not? Why the heck not? And he'll pick up three. That'll be the final play of the third quarter here in the Egg Bowl in Starkville, Mississippi. Can we hang on to our undefeated season? It's 28 all. Ole Miss just giving us everything they've got today. as they always do. Here we go, Sanford's gone. That's a touchdown. Bulldogs take the lead. Great blocking by the O-line. Harding seals the edge from his fullback spot. And you're not gonna catch this man in the open field. Extra point up and good, 35-28. After a nine play, 66 yard drive, took two minutes off the clock. All right, defense, let's figure it out, boys. 
Let's figure it out. Please. Chaos driven. What's going on, brother? How you doing? And this one heck of a game so far, man. This one's kind of crazy. Ole Miss came out and they were dominating for a little bit. Fullback. There we go. Nice hit. Very nice hit. Third down and two coming up. And we stop them. I missed. But we still got them. Let's go. Huge tackle by Barry. And looks like they're going to punt it away. That could be the play of the game right there. A third and short stop by a young corner. Hawkins with a fair catch at the 35-yard line. Gotta love rivalry games, absolutely. No matter what, like these guys could be zero and eleven, they're gonna give us just a battle, just the battle of our lives. Safety's cheating up a little bit. They expect the run, and they get it. Sanford does not move the chains. Third and inch is coming up. We need this. Let's go back to the fullback. And we don't get it. Oh, my goodness. Great call by the defensive coordinator for the Rebels. Blitzing both linebackers right up the gut. John White on for the punt. Come on, Caldwell, get off him. Of course, he must sit, and we're, there's just nobody here. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I'm sick to my stomach right now. Absolutely furious right now. We had nobody there to cover the punt. That's outrageous. Give me the ball right now. Throw it my way. I dare you. Do it. That's right. Woodard. Woodard. Can he go? No, he can't. But we get the takeaway anyway. Get out of my face. You know the next word, brother. You know it. Yeah, rivalries are definitely a lot of fun to watch. Oh my goodness, they are just blitzing everybody. I might have to throw it here. They're blitzing everybody on us. Alright, what do we do here? Of course, now they're not blitzing. Well, you know what? What the heck with you? Look at Watson. 14 yards, baby. Let's go. Alright, third down and six. Another big play here for the offense. Can we convert? We can't. Oh, my goodness. Man, Roy just whiffed on that. He dove and completely missed. That's going way to the left. Oh, well, he can't have a 67-yard punt return. Dang it.
our defense. The offense can't close it out, so. Maybe get a pick six again. I, I thought for a second that my power just went out. I had a mini heart attack. My TV stopped working. It went black screen as soon as the ball was snapped. Oh my goodness. Look at Warren. 19 of 24, 307 yards, 4 touchdowns, and 2 of his 5 incompletions are interceptions. That's crazy. Let's go defense. Let's go. Nice deflection. I'll take it. Third and inches. Oh my goodness, Woodard almost had another one. Let's go, Woodard. What a beast. Obviously, they're going to go for it. But that was a great play. Yet again, by Mr. Woodard. My boys. Let's get him. Let's go. Pump it up. Tossing it. Oh, they got it. Nice run by Tyson. Dang it. They're really trying to get us to overtime right now. Uh oh. Dang it. It's so hard to cover on the corner routes. Especially with Pruitt when he's just not good. Now would be a good time for another Woodard interception. All right. What do we want to do here? Let's go pinch. My goodness. Linebacker Salazar almost had the pick that time. Let's go, boys. They're down at 10. Two and a half to go in the game. And deflected at the line of scrimmage. How often do you see that in this game? Very, very rarely. Let's go. Defensive tackle? Okay. Who was that? Marks. What a beast, man. All right, fourth and ten. This could be for the game. And Woodard has it! The user interception, baby. Let's go. Woodard for Heisman. I don't care. He could have two picks on the year. Give it to him. Oh my goodness. Now can the offense move the ball enough to run the clock down? Because that's been a struggle in this fourth quarter. Ain't going to be on this play. It's all right. Take four yards out of that. 100 yards for Sanford. Oh my goodness. Run the clock down as much as we can. Yeah, Woodard should definitely get player of the game. I don't know who else could have it, honestly. There's Sanford moving the chains. Let's go. 112 yards for the freshman. I feel like he's at 100 yards every single game this season. It's been kind of crazy.
Oh man. Try to get an extra blocker over here on the right. And Sanford will pick up three or four. Three touchdowns today. Oh my goodness, that's a career high. All we gotta do is probably get one more first down, I think. Good thing about them calling all the timeouts is my guys are getting well rested. Oh, nice play by the safety. Dang it. All right. We got a third and eight. Man, they might get the ball back here. This is crazy. I don't want to throw it, though. I want to force them to call a timeout. I'm going to get crushed in the backfield here. I can feel it. Oh, here we go. Sanford, he moves the chains. Let's go. Oh, what a run by the freshman. Oh, that was beautiful. That should be enough to do it. Oh, my goodness. The freshman putting the team on his back. My TV just turned off again. What's happening? Oh, my goodness. Don't do this to me. That's their final timeout. Sanford's going to get player of the game because he had three touchdowns and over 100 yards. Otherwise, Woodard would have got player of the game. He's definitely getting the game ball, that's for sure. Why does my TV keep turning off? That's so bizarre. That's the second time. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Offensive lineman. That was my center. Just got absolutely bullied. Final play of the game. Ballard. Picks up four yards. And that will be enough to run the clock out. We are the victors in the Egg Bowl. 35 to 28. That was a hell of a game. Old Miss. I mean, hats off to them. They definitely came to play today. They were up 14 to nothing early on in the ball game. And their quarterback, whew, other than those picks that he threw, I mean, he, did, he threw three interceptions, but, I mean, he was just lights out for the majority of the game. He had no answer for that passing attack. And it's crazy to me that they're 4-8 and eight on the season. What happened, Ole Miss? They just won 10 games last season, and they beat us. But we are 12-0 and 0 to finish the regular season. We ended up getting 400 yards of offense. We got sacked twice. We did not get any pressure on this quarterback whatsoever. That was definitely a great game. Absolutely. Yeah, look at that score. It was 14 to nothing. Then we got a touchdown, and they scored again. So then it was 21 to 7. And then we ended up tying it. Because Harding got a touchdown, and we got the pick six right before the half. That was crazy. I can't believe he threw that. Then we took the lead. They tied it back up, and we took the lead and never looked back. I mean, we scored on the first play of the fourth quarter, and nobody else scored again. Incredible rivalry game tonight. No touchdowns for Watson. One pick, sacked twice. Sanford, three touchdowns. Harding had one as well. And broke a tackle. Ryan Malone continues to shine. Six catches, 150 yards. This guy's a monster at wide receiver. No drops today for the boys. Let's go. Salazar <laughs> with eight tackles. <coughs> Excuse me. Woodard with five. Pruitt with five. Singleton, May, and Barry each had four. Woodard, two tackles for a loss. Two picks. Tiki Caldwell with a 66-yard pick six to tie it up before the half. Four deflections for the squad. And that's a touchdown for Tiki, the senior. No field goals. Three punts. We're not going to talk about this net average. Man, that, that one punt return, that was atrocious. 
I'm still furious about it. All right, let's uh, let's get out of this. We'll see who we're going to be taking on in the SEC championship game, and I'll see y'all tomorrow with that one. If we win it, I will do the national championship game as its own separate stream Thursday night. But, you know, we, we have to win. <laughs> we have to win the SEC first. We've only got two conference championships, I believe, in seven seasons. So we're in, we're in season eight. So if we can get this one, three out of eight, I mean, that's not bad. It's not as dominant as we've been in other series on the channel. But that's okay. You can't win the national championship game every season. Because who's going to want to tune into that every day? I know I wouldn't. Come on now. Come on, baby. <coughs> Man, Army Navy game. Navy has a shot at a bowl game. They just gotta win this. And Navy lost. <laughs> Let's go, Army. Let's go, boys. All right, and as always, uh, we're taking on Tennessee in the SEC Championship game. So that'll be tomorrow night. Here's the matchup. I mean, we already played them once this season. We absolutely rickrolled them. It wasn't even close. Look at this game. Yeah, let's take a look at the schedule, shall we? Yeah, we beat them 48-0 just four weeks ago. And yet, we have to face them again. Let's take a look at the conference standings here. Man, if Maryland, if Maryland's not going to jump UNLV. If we win the SEC, we're going to end up facing UNLV. So we haven't faced a Power 5 program in the conference, or in the uh, national title game yet. Which is kind of crazy. Alright, so here's the East. It was a three-way tie, and Tennessee wins it. I was hoping to face somebody else this season, but I guess not. Look at Alabama. They went 0-11. Vanderbilt, 0-12. Get them out of here. They're trash. But here's a look at our head coach, Ralph Kress, and his coaching report card. Only two conference titles, one national championship. We're currently on a 13-game winning streak. 12-0 this season. Man. Seven winning seasons. We're having our eighth winning season right now. If we can win our bowl game, we'll be at 500 win percentage in bowl games. Which is huge because we were uh, we were not doing so hot for a while there. We were one and four, won two straight bowl games. But that's gonna be it for this stream, guys. I will see y'all tomorrow as we take on Tennessee for the SEC title once again. We blanked them forty-eight nothing four weeks ago. Let's see if we can do it again. Take it easy, guys.